Hey folks, this is Rick Lamont, and I'm back with Life is Strange True Colors Chapter 2. This is the second half of that, and it's my fourth episode of this playthrough. Uh, I've made a few changes. I've turned on licensed tracks so you can get the full musical experience. I've uh, lowered the graphics settings a little bit. Hopefully that will uh, smooth things out. I'll still, I'll still watch them. I'm also getting some encoding overloads, so that may be part of the stuttering uh, or the slowness. And I just had a few thoughts. I've watched some other people's playthroughs, and something that someone else had found was that Diane, the Typhon geologist from DC, if I remember right, had a DUI, which is interesting because Geologists are known for drinking. It's a stereotype. Uh, let's see. I don't know how I missed Ducky's Rye. I thought I searched the, the couch, but somehow it didn't take. Uh, which is annoying, but oh well. Uh, oh, here's the thing. Yeah, I keep, I've got a list. Um, in addition to looking for Easter eggs, I have not been looking at license plates. That's been a, uh, a thing that there's always little uh, fun things hidden in license plates. And, uh, oh, finally, something that struck me is Gabe seems perfect. Almost too perfect. And... Partly, I think that's because the purer, the better, the, uh, the more liked the character, it makes his death all the more dramatic, which really isn't necessary in this case because this is the protagonist's brother who uh, she just finally got in touch with again. But I think from a logical point of view, you know, Alex is new in town, so they're not going to be talking uh, a lot of smack about her brother, at least, you know, not right away. He's going to be on his best behavior. And, you know, he is a generally good guy. And, of course, after he dies, people aren't going to be talking uh, negatively about him. Uh, I mean, Mac sort of did, sort of didn't, but Mac is being set up to be the uh, the red herring. L let's be honest here, he's not the villain. I mean, he's not a good guy, but he's not the bad guy. So, I have my cup of tea. I have a flannel shirt because this is Haven Springs, Colorado, and... It's part of the official dress code. And I have a box of tissues because this is a Life is Strange game. And I really don't want to do without that. So anyway, let's start this. I love the record player. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Now, I think at the end of the last episode, I read some of these messages, but let's do that again. Uh, okay. Hey, saw what you did with the LARP. Thank you so much. Of course. I think Ethan's going to love it. And that was Steph. Um... This is my block, New Messages. Hmm. Also from Steph. Hmm. I wonder what Steph's working on. It looks cool. I should DM her to find out more and see how I can help. Subtle. Real subtle stuff. I'm cooking up a new, uh, a new adventure for Haven. DM me if you want to get involved. You do. Uh. 
Okay, what else is in here? Um, there's a lot of backstory that I didn't read yet, so I'm just going to poke around and read a few. Um, so these are all old. Uh, from Ethan, he's finished his latest issue of Thanor. Uh, Steph wants some for the store. And Gabe's talking up uh, the LARP. Even, uh, there's a town hall meet or was a town hall meeting about the uh, second mine, an opened mine pit, an open pit mine. Uh, Eleanor wants to know what kind of impact it would have on the environment. And, um, the uh, the city, probably the town council, is saying that they'll address it, and Ryan is happy to address it, but Typhon probably wouldn't like his answer. In other words, Ryan doesn't think it'd be good for the environment. And then concerns about traffic and perhaps job creation, all important things. Okay, um, this is one from Ducky. Hand super glued to taxidermy animal. Help! <laughs> uh, Steph. Uh, Ryan, did you mean to type this into Google? Okay, Ducky's not, you know, on top of tech. Okay. Things to do, investigate flower shop. That's where Mac is hanging out. Okay, it seems to be performing a little better. Doesn't look nearly as pretty, it's still gorgeous. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but that's okay. Someone's angry. I don't know if I've been this way. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule. Let's talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Yeah, I came this way. There's the uh, Black Lantern. Let's look at some license plates. That's not anything. Nope. Okay. They maybe aren't doing the license plate thing. Ah, oh, it's still gorgeous. Bench girl. Is sad. That guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. So let's just look at this town. There's the flower shop. Okay. It's a post office. It's not really letting you strafe. It wants to make you uh I don't get it. Walk straight. Not want ice cream anymore? 
I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Okay, I cannot go that way. Still haven't found Mac. Jed suggested I check the flower shop. I think I've hit the end of the town that way. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? That's the bridge I came over. Okay, let's confront Mac. This should be a lot of fun. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... You're not okay. You're not really adjusting, but... You're not Still okay. Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. Alzheimer's. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Oh God, they're multiplying. Yeah, she's terrified. Okay, shirt rules. Is it Riley's? I should get an emotional support dog, but like for other people. So yeah, let's look at everything while she's terrified. Figure out why she's afraid. How does she she seems all of this? so lost? All my memories, all my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. Things like that are, un are uh, quite common with Alzheimer's. 
as reactions to just not knowing where you are or what's happening. Okay, all the lit up butterflies are interesting. Were they always there? Do they stand out more because everything's in, um, I'm pretty confident that I know what's going on, but I think there's still something I'm missing here. Ah, here we are. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. They're forget-me-nots. The doctor says I had more time. Sorry. If they know about my condition, they'll make me close this place. Scrambled. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? I have no idea. What you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. She's Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Did you maybe call someone? You don't have to do this. I'll be all right on my own. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did anything happen with Riley? I... 
I don't know. Really jerky. I'm getting good frame rates. Capture's going well. You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Ugh. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Are you going to uh, get to your mail? Where was your mail? I imagine it was in your office. I do not remember seeing it. Oh, okay. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Goodness, what was the order for? Well, I think we're running out of things. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. Rush order, paid with check. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. Okay. I am going to turn down my settings one more notch. Let's try medium and see how it looks. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I 
me you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. Oh. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. You know what? Let's not add to it. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. I won't. Promise. Okay. She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. Exactly. Great things have small beginnings. Or something. To help fill the gaping void inside, we offer you our condolences in the form of this mass-produced card. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? I'm going to uh, try something else here. Let's see if that gives me a little bit better performance. Let's see, where was the bridge? This way? Okay, Eleanor is glad we helped. Okay, Jack Stevens is moving in. Running a restaurant, or at least running a restaurant. Yeah, the graphics quality has gone way down. I mean, it's still gorgeous. Plus, it's uh, just getting dark. There we are. Oh, he's angry. Or he's afraid. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Fuck. Here we go. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? You cuss. Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe, too? Let's not go out for the straight accusation. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked. But you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. 
What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Nope. Okay. Uh... Okay. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Ooh. I didn't... Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not... I didn't do anything. What the? Oh, she's feeling, okay. Mac could feel everybody watching. Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Whoa. Typhon's, Typhon's always, watching. always watching. They run yep. this whole town. Feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. Beloved citizen killed by loser. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. Instead, Alex, no, what the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked to me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't yeah. get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. That's... all. Oh. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? 
Yeah, he's an asshole and jealous and all that, but this is this is something else. This is something no one deserves, and this is not on this is not his fault. Absolutely. All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Ugh. Okay, I totally feel sick that Typhon told him to ignore the call. That they went ahead and blasted anyway. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. Wonder who that was. Ryan. Okay. It's Ryan. Oh, at the ravine. It's beautiful, though. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call, and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine, and... It doesn't matter! Okay. I keep He's coming here. Feeling guilty and back. angry that he had to... But it cut the rope. Always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. my fault my job is to keep people safe and I failed he's angry at himself Ryan 
It's the most personal. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Oh. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, it's life is strange. gorilla suit <laughs> does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool no no he chases a guy in a banana suit that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool okay, I'm, I'm sorry this is a Mexican restaurant <laughs> so so random. <laughs> the food is uh, mood uh, whiplash though but it's Gabe's favorite place <laughs> I tell you he's the oldest 12 year old I know Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? Hmm. <sighs> There's something you should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. This is going to seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? What do we want to know about him? Okay. Think of something sad. Like, breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. You said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> it's green. That's new. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. 
What emotion is this? together. <laughs> Does kind of look like a shovel. How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe. This is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. <laughs> property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, <laughs> Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. <laughs> Gabe! <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? Hmm. There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that... that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe. Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? His hair's kind of glossy. You'll need help.
You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. I'm a big fan of the hug. I'm not going to shake someone's hand unless there's no reason to hug them. Or it makes them uncomfortable. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Okay, now I'm kind of regretting telling Charlotte to um, take the money and run. Okay, statistics. Oh, wow, that was, um, got me right in the feels. 
Alex calmed Mac down from his panic attack, 96%. Mac had to deal with it on his own, not 4%. That's kind of mercenary. Thirty-three percent of us let Eleanor kind of forget about Gabe's death for a little while. Sixty-seven percent reminded her. Most people told Charlotte to not take Typhon's money. Sixty-two percent, I, I did. I, I still think it's the right choice, but I certainly see the logic, and now, I really see the logic. Okay, uh, two-thirds of us enjoyed a quiet moment on the dock. About half of us tidied up the apartment. Um, pretty even split about either the album or the photograph on the table or nothing at all. About half the people missed the dartboard. Um, and about, of those who did, about two thirds did the sad face. Okay, um, the LARP. Even split between Alexandra and Alto, but Twice as many still went by Alwyn, which just sounds more elfin. Not to mention the um, connection with Ethan's story. Um, and then on the rooftop, about two thirds spent of. A little moment of Zen thinking about Gabe. Beautiful up there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Alex admitted she didn't hear Gabe's call, 40%. Uh, I had to think about it, whether or not, uh, you know, whether what, you know, if he said he heard the call or if. I had to think about it to see if she heard the call or if he just said that he made the call. But from the options, it was pretty clear that that was the case. And um, it turns out it didn't matter because he did make the call. <laughs> um... Ryan accepted forgiveness. Ryan was able to forgive himself, 20%. Uh, most people said that Gabe would forgive him, but I think... I think he was blaming himself. I think he needed to forgive himself. 75% um, hugged him because that was more than a handshake moment. Um, <laughs> the foosball was really hard, so it's no surprise that uh, about two-thirds of people lost to Steph. Um, Stormrider was the narrow preference for the LARP boss. That's what I went with. Oh, I missed the uh, the bird watcher finding her hawk. Oh, most people did. I mean, the small minority, but two thirds of us helped the sad dude find his dog. That that's his name, sad dude. Wow. Okay. So. I loved it. It was wonderfully, heartbreakingly emotional. It was, 
It's when I play the Life is Strange games for I mean, one of the reasons I do, but I want to feel moved in many ways. And this certainly this certainly got me in the feels a few times. Um, I knew Mac wasn't the big bad. That would have been too easy going in. He He's definitely the pawn type. Uh, he's not... He has problems. He has a lot of problems. Um, Riley, I think, was was right to break up with him. You know, between his anger and his jealousy and his um, poor impulse control. You know, he has a lot to work on. And I think until he works on those, he really shouldn't be pursuing relationships. I don't think he makes a good partner at this point. But that doesn't mean he's a murderer or a... Um, or even intentionally complacent. He was put in a hard spot. He's... He's a bit of a coward. He's He was afraid of losing Riley, so much so that he acted out in the worst possible way to make it worse. And now he's afraid of Typhon in such a way that he's making it worse for himself. Typhon's not going to back him up. Um, you know, the only time they might act is that if he were... Um, arrested or, or whatever for not forwarding the call and he might fess up and and put the blame back on Typhon, then they would be in a, a tough spot. So, But otherwise, they'd let him swing. So I think... I think out of everything, he's a coward. And he doesn't quite know what to do with that. And... And the, his problems are really of his own making. It's given me a lot to think about. I'm going to have to watch a few other people play this chapter and see what I missed. And, uh, you know, there's always other choices to be made, um, you know, as, as we see here. And... Maybe get a feel for other people's reasons. Um, if you played the game, I'd love to know what you chose and why. And if you think I chose poorly, uh, let me hear your reasoning. Uh, let me hear what you think. Let me hear what you uh, what you chose. And I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. It's been so far a lot of fun. I've got three more uh, chapters to go through, and I'm completely invested in this. Completely invested. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to keep watching. And uh, otherwise, I hope I will see you for chapter three. Thanks for watching. Bye.